Hello, good morning. At least it's morning for me. It might be afternoon for you. Good evening. It's Monday morning for me right now, and we've had a busy morning so far. The electricians showed up at about 8.30. It's about 9.15 now, and they're working on putting all the electrical in the sleep out, which is very exciting. There's some electrical in there right now, but we need some more plugs, some lights on the wall, the projector mounted, and a like fireplace wall heater. And they're also mounting a TV in our house that we just got because we haven't had a TV in three years. When we left Los Angeles, we kind of made a pact to like not watch television for a while because during COVID and everything like that, as you all know, we were all binge watching everything. When we first got to New Zealand, did not even have a home base. So we had no reason to get a new TV at the time. So we just thought, well, we're living without a TV. Once we got this house, it had been nine months without a TV. So we just thought, let's not add a TV to the space right away. And we got a projector. And so we've been using the projector a lot which is nice to watch movies every once in a while. And it's made it like more of an intentional thing for us. And we have been really hesitant to get a TV for a while because we just love the living room without a TV. But then we decided to go for a frame TV. And a frame TV, if you don't know, is a TV that's flat up against a wall. It looks like a painting because it's matte and you can pick different screensavers almost that look like art and it's flat against the wall. And when you walk past it, it shows the art and it just looks like a piece of art in the living room, which we feel like is exactly what we want. We've decided to move the projector into the sleep out into the bedroom so that people can watch movies on the big screen. The projector is awesome. Alex spent the afternoon yesterday polishing the cement in there because we're going to be laying down the flooring pretty soon. Didn't even know Alex knew how to polish cement floors. He surprises me every week with the new things that he's learning how to do himself, but he did it. They look great. And the space is essentially prepped. It's gonna be really exciting when we get the floors in because then we can start bringing the space to life which is where I get really excited. That is my favorite part of a renovation process when we can start putting stuff in, decorating. Everything's been blossoming around here recently and I've been able to have just like fresh daffodils in the house every day, which is so lovely. These ones are probably a week old now. So I'm going to actually go into the orchard because there's a ton in the orchard and get some fresh daffodils to add into the kitchen. These ones are still good. I'm not gonna get rid of them, but I'm gonna make some more vases of daffodils for around the house, probably put one in the bathroom. I'm gonna bring you guys over to the little granny flat and show you guys what's going on in there taking a quick break from this video to talk about our sponsor, BetterHelp. You guys know that I have used BetterHelp for years. It's something that I recommend to my friends and family and that I love recommending to you guys as well. Whether you're going through a difficult season right now or you wanna process things that you've been through before or maybe you just want a place to vent, Therapy is a great option for this. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. It's an important mission because finding a therapist that works well with you, that specializes in what you may need, can be difficult when you're limited to the options in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's remote, it's done online, and just by answering a few questions in as little as a few days, BetterHelp will pair you with a professional therapist. It is super easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There is a link in my description box. It is betterhelp.com slash rad. Clicking that link in my description box gets you 10% off of your first month with BetterHelp. You can switch your therapist at any time for no additional cost. So if you don't feel connection with your therapist that you're paired with, you can switch without having to deal with insurance or trying to find somebody else in your network. It is super easy and I think it's one of the best features. I am a strong believer in therapy and changing the narrative that makes people feel like if they're going to therapy, there's something wrong with them. I feel like it's it's the opposite. If you're somebody who's showing up each week to process your emotions, to organize your thoughts, to nurture your mental health, that's the best thing that you can be doing. So if you're interested in starting on your journey with therapy, 
BetterHelp is such a great place to start. Again, if you're interested, check out the link I left for you guys below in the description box. It is betterhelp.com slash rad and you get 10% off of your first month. Thank you to BetterHelp and let's get back into the video. The electrician has just run into town to pick up some more supplies that he needs, but he started on the heater. And that's all he's done so far, but I'll show you what's going on in here. Sounds like Alex just started with the ride on mower, but ignore ignore that in the background. These are the cement floors that Alex just polished and where we will be laying down the flooring. We've used bud paint for those of you who were helping us pick. This is called Thornton Cream and this is called Bud, both by Resine. And we just did one little feature wall here. And this is the little bedroom that you walk into and did another feature wall here. And we've got all the electrician stuff here, but they put together this fireplace in the bedroom. How cool is this little wall fireplace that we just added and we're going to hide the wires. And he's going to be putting up the projector here so that you can be sitting here on the bed or laying here on the bed and you can have that fireplace going with a movie projecting on the wall there. This is just so mesmerizing. It's really nice because it's a heater. It like releases a lot of heat, but at the same time, it's a vibe. It is a couple of days later now. Last I saw you guys was on Monday and I was telling you all about the electrician being here and then I wasn't able to vlog much because I was just helping the electrician figure out where we wanted everything. We got the TV up, which I'll show you guys later. That's been just really nice to have and it looks so good in the house. It's crazy how much that TV looks like an art piece in the living room. And right now I'm going to actually head over to my neighbor's house because she is also renovating her sleep out and she's doing a feature wall in the bedroom of her little cottage and she is looking at different colored greens as well. So I told her I would bring over some of my test pots of greens that were kind of close to the look she's going for. She's like maybe doing like a little bit more vibrant than us, but still in the same like kind of green color scheme. After I go to my neighbor's house to drop these off, I'm going to pop in to town to pick up something at the vet for Lanka. He needs new deworming pills, very exciting. He gets them every year and he's run out and he takes them every three months or so because honestly, I mean, all dogs, I think, take pills like that. I mean, I know Lanka did deworming pills when we lived in Los Angeles as well, but right now it's more important than ever because he's living on a homestead and he has access to drink water from wherever he wants and he kind of just like lives his own life and can kind of roam around as he pleases. I find him drinking water out of the bird bath all of the time and it's just still water that's been sitting there and I try to tell him like you have water in the house what are you doing but he prefers to drink water outside of the house I think that's just the animal in him and so deworming pills give me peace of mind that uh, he doesn't have anything crazy going on <laughs> one of the chickens has also decided to join us to stop by and say hello Always very curious about what I'm doing and where I'm going. I actually just took my sweater off because it is really warm today, which is very exciting. Uh, that same neighbor that I told you about earlier um, is in town with her two little ones and they're getting hot chocolate at this um, little cafe that I'm gonna meet them at right now. But I got what I needed for Lanka. I also stopped in to a little secondhand shop and I got some paintings that are so cute and I just had to, I they, I got five of them because there were like they were just all too good to pass up and we have a lot of walls to fill in the cottage and then also we still have empty walls in our house that I'm still trying to fill so I actually can't decide if I'm gonna use these two that I'll show you first I got five I'm only gonna show you three first and then I'll show you the two other bigger ones that I have in the trunk when I get home I have the hiccups, I think. Anyways, um, I got this squash with the gold frame and avocado paintings. They're like little drawings. Look how cute that is. 
I've wanted like fruit paintings for right near the dining room. We have a really bare wall by our dining room table and I've just been waiting for the right pieces because I've been waiting for like a cool secondhand shop, little fruit themed, kitchen themed painting, drawing to come up. I can use these in the sleep out too. These might be a little bit too small for that wall. I kind of need something bigger, but we'll see how it looks there because it could totally work. I also got a Milford, look how cool this is. So I don't know if you guys remember, but we did the Milford track, which is a really cool trail here in New Zealand on the South Island. It's so beautiful. And this is the Milford Sound, which is like probably my favorite place that I've ever been to in New Zealand so far. And this is just the most beautiful piece. It'll definitely go in the cottage because I think people visiting New Zealand will love to see you know, paintings of New Zealand. And I have other drawings at home that I've kind of been collecting to put on the walls in there. And then I got two other paintings that are much bigger that I'll show you guys a little bit later, but I'm gonna run into the cafe, say hi to, hi to my friend for a little bit, and then I'm gonna go home and we'll continue this, we'll continue this uh, conversation. We'll, we'll keep it up. So I'll see you guys soon. I just got home. Alex is starting some dinner. We're gonna have some salmon tonight. I'm gonna show you guys those other pieces that I didn't show you in the car. I just showed Alex and he likes them, so I'm very excited. These are the two bigger ones that I found. This one I love. Look at the colors. I bought these for the cottage, but I have, I kind of want them in our house because I love them so much. Like look how pretty those colors look in this room too with the yellow. Oh. And then this one I love as well. It's bigger. I love the view. So pretty. The blue is gorgeous. This will definitely go in the cottage because I just think that it's a really beautiful view. And then the Milford Sound one will definitely as well. This one I'm kind of debating. And then the squash and avocado I'm kind of debating. Where do you think that one is? I don't know. I think, let me see, I think it's it somewhere say anything in the back, but I don't really do. Somewhere South Island. With that so dry, that's central Otago somewhere. With the dry. With the little mountain yeah, dry range. Thanks, Peninsula, maybe. Maybe. So pretty. I love the colors. Or Mackenzie Country. Ah. The Queen of the Op Shop. The Queen of the Op Shop. <laughs> what a title. All right, well, I will see you all tomorrow. It's days later. This vlog is just a mix of a bunch of different days from this week. It's now Sunday. I've been doing a Sunday reset this morning. I have like laundry in front of the fire drying and I have a little fun bowl of fruit. I have some kiwi, some passion fruit that I'm just snacking on. And I thought I would bring you guys up to speed on what, what's been going on. It just was my birthday a couple days ago. My wish for my birthday was to just take the day off and then just get in the car and kind of see where the day takes us. I knew that I wanted to see a couple of beach towns that we had never seen around here. So we did that. We went on some lovely walks along the ocean and just checked out a few places that we've never been to before, which I really want to go back to a couple of them. So. It was just a beautiful day of just like letting the day take us where it wants us to go. And Lanka was with us and I just, it was, it was really lovely. It was a full day and we just felt really grateful that it was like a Tuesday and we were just taking the day off and like allowing ourselves to just kind of flow with the day and do whatever our hearts desired that day which I really enjoyed. I thought I'd show you guys the frame TV that we got set up. We're going to hide the wire that you can see like peeking out right here. I'm hiding it right now. It's so small and it's like very clear, but we want to get rid of it entirely. But I just kind of was playing around with some pots on the mantle. I need to paint the mantle again, but I don't really know what I'm gonna do for mantle decor, but I am loving how this looks. And yes, in case you were wondering, Alex did get me the record player for my birthday, which was very nice. And we've been playing music on it nonstop. I've been listening to all sorts of different records. 
that I have today, which I haven't been able to do for a really long time while I've been cleaning the house, so that's been lovely. Alex is in the sleep out right now, and he's just prepping the space a little bit more. We picked up the floors. They are currently in the cottage, ready to go, and him and a friend are going to put the floors together this weekend. I know the last couple of weeks I haven't had a new video up for you guys, and this video is going up on a random day during the week. I believe it's a little bit of a different upload day for me. It's not my usual. I have some updates that I'll be sharing with you all very soon. Until then, videos might be kind of sporadic, but we will talk very soon. I will see you all very soon in a new video. I hope you are all doing well. Sending my love. Bye.